we are talking about respiratory system pathway of air into and out of the lungs. So we are going to start with a molecule of oxygen and travel into the respiratory system. The pathway that we're going to start with is here with the external nares. We will then travel through these nasal turbinates. We will then travel through the pharynx region. First, with the nasopharynx region, then with the oropharynx region, which is approximately in this location, and then with the laryngopharynx region, which is inferior, right around there. From the laryngopharynx region, we travel into the larynx, and from the larynx, we travel into the trachea. From the trachea, we travel to the primary bronchi, that's the first set of branches. We travel to the secondary bronchi, which is our second set of branches. Tertiary bronchi, which is our third set of branches. And then we travel to the very smallest passageways, which are these bronchioles. From the bronchioles, we travel into these air sacs called alveoli. And from alveoli, we're going to load oxygen into the pulmonary capillaries. Oxygen will travel from pulmonary capillaries to pulmonary venules, pulmonary veins, to the left atrium of the heart, bicuspid or mitral valve, left ventricle, aortic semilunar valve, aorta, and then now we're out for systemic circulation. And from there, the pathway is arteries, arterioles, systemic capillaries, venules, veins, superior and inferior vena cava, and then we're back to the heart with the right atrium. So that is the pathway of oxygen into the lungs. To remove CO2 from the lungs, if we start with pulmonary capillaries that surround these alveoli, we in fact reverse this process, traveling from alveoli to bronchioles, tertiary bronchi, secondary bronchi, primary bronchi, trachea. Do you know where we go from there? Continue the flow backwards.